sometimes being in charge of a vessel really sucks. But it's nothing that a burrito and a margarita can't fix. Welcome to Mexico. He's gonna drag again. Ah, uh, babe. Ah. Uh. Oh no. it up with a dragging boat and we are drifting into the fucking reef right now. The boat engine's screaming. We're getting deeper though. We're getting deeper. Well, maybe. We don't have an anchor. Well, the anchor's going to be hitting the, the propellers soon. Oh shit. Uh, I, can see, I can see boats ahead of us, alright? So we are... Try pull up the anchor, B. Hey, there's a boat here. I know. Can you try where? Yeah, I know that boat. Can you pull up the anchor? Let's we'll see what if we can bring up the anchor for a start. Yeah, I guess so. For what? For the anchor. 
Ah, uh, it's pretty light. Are you going to get a bigger one? There's a black one, I think. See if it holds. The wind's dropped again, so. Yeah, it's okay, four meters. How much have you pulled in? Just, uh, let's drop out uh, another two marks. taking up slack on our anchor now and we seem to be stopping. We've got a boat just over here uh, which we're threatening to drag into but right now we're slowing down so it looks like our anchor is starting to hold. The wind has dropped off to 11 knots. If we could just get his anchor if he could get his 10 tons off us, I'm sure our anchor would hold. Although, no, I'm not sure. This is uh, quite strange that the anchor would uh, drag. The holding here is obviously not great. We're still moving. We're still doing half a knot. Okay, so his anchor's still caught under our bow. We're doing 0.6 of a knot backwards. So those guys are gonna work on freeing his anchor from our chain or our bow so he can get off because his extra 10 tons is sort of not helping our situation. <sighs> Shit, it's cold, eh? Yeah. I can't believe it's still dragging. Oh, 17 knots of wind now, but yeah, it's still dragging. I tell you, it's much safer out at sea. You get nothing to hit. Ah, oh, it's getting heavy again.
like they freed the anchor and he's trying to transfer it across the east boat. Getting closer to those ferries. drop again. Get ready to drop or put out five. Well, we don't want to go too far away. You can't see where we're going. Let's just drop it now. Yeah, five. There's not many vessels around, so you right. Alright, so bow's coming around, just like we've grabbed. God, I hope he does not drag on us again. Because yeah, no. he's just upwind of us again. But the wind's changing direction because all the time. He might choose us to drag again because he knows it's what it is. I don't think you can choose who you're going to hit so much. Alright, we are stopped. I'll let it dig in a little bit, then I'll back up on it. Alright, we're better. He did 
really good out there, Mummy. Very proud of you. I'll give it a little throttle. Looks good. Yeah, we're good. Give it a little slack. Oh. Thankfully not too much damage. There's a bit of paint missing scratches on our bow. His gunnel uh, rail is broken. Uh, and it's just a bit of epoxy and he can fix that. We're holding. We are holding. You put a bit of slack on the chain, B. That's all I want you to do. And come in the dry. That's enough. Busting for a week. This rain is making me, and the coal. I want a week. Uh, I'm a bit shocked at our anchor. I thought it would have held 20 tons in that in 20 knots of wind. I thought, it, well, we had 25 knots of wind, but it just must be bad holding here. This is known as drag alley, and I thought. Ah, we got a rock now. <laughs> rock it! Uh, I guess uh, it is bad holding. Where is it? You see him? Oh, it's still in the rock front. He's, in, he's still in front of us. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a worry. We did go, we went into half a meter of water over there. We were heading towards that, but he, Rocks. Point eight. Rocks. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Forget that. So, uh, yeah. Thankfully, they had enough power to pull out of it. But geez, it was close. It, his keel would have been on the bottom, and I would have been pulling him off the sand. Right. I hope that's the end of our dramas tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna have another whiskey just to be sure. We can't sleep, B. National park. You, you're not supposed to, you know, well, put didn't. your poop outside. No, what they said was you shouldn't discharge into the water. It's not into the water. It's off. The water. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Only in Mexico. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. We're in Isla Mayores. Mujeres. Mujeres, God. All the time you're pronouncing it differently. <laughs> <laughs> and last night, a uh, bit of a storm, nothing huge, 25 knots, but a boat in front of us dragged onto us and has scratched up our bow there a bit. Um, his anchor got tangled in ours. This is all that... In the middle of the storm. <laughs> in the middle of the storm. So all oh. we could do was raft him up alongside. But... And then... Um, we dragged too. 
Well, then so some b bigger winds came and we, we were both dragging tangled up together. So, yeah. uh, and we really came close to that reef. Like uh, yeah. I saw half a metre under our rudder. Uh, he would have been touching the bottom being a keel boat. But I managed to power us out and uh, yeah, well, we're trying to so, remove the so anchor. Princess and the guy were, were working to untangle the on chains. deck <laughs> under torchlight, you know. Yeah. Um, and I'm just trying to hold the boat in a position amongst these anchored boats. And it worked out. It took what 40 minutes or so, I think, to untangle. And finally, we said bye bye, bye, -bye to him. Yeah. And we reset our anchor, and uh, we're okay. But yeah, it just got a bit of a scratched up starboard bow, which is annoying. Yeah, but he got... Well, he, he broke, because he was, we T-boned him basically, he, uh, and he's got a broken gunnel. It That's might it. be an easy repair. We didn't hit real hard. Yeah. But it was a bit of a rude awakening in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, but you know, before that happens, I asked you to check. Did you check? Really? Well, the wind was up, yeah, so I was at seeing we weren't dragging and all of a sudden doosh nearly knocked me off my feet <laughs> the boat hits me it hit us head in the bow yeah <laughs> now comes to a sometimes a challenging time of checking in to a foreign country. That's probably a common question we get from new or wannabe cruisers. How do you check in to a country when you arrive? The basic procedures are all fairly similar, but each country has their own quirks. From a boat point of view, in a harbour or a port, you would normally find the port captain first or the harbour master same thing and that's what I'm going to do the, uh, today and from there he will instruct on what is required normally what is required is immigration so you need to take your passports to the immigration office and they will let you in or not <laughs> uh, and then is customs and there you normally just have to make a declaration as to what you have on board I believe there might be a boat inspection requirement. Um, so far, so we've traveled two thirds of the way around the world, I think. We've only had one time that the boat was inspected. Most countries, uh, just paperwork. But one, and that was Mauritius, they come on board. And after searching, three guys in plain clothes searching for 15 minutes, they admitted that they are narcotics agents. <laughs> so, I'm glad they didn't find my stash. And there you normally just have to make a declaration as to what you have on board. Um, they'll normally discuss some prohibited things like firearms, um, drugs obviously, uh, things that they're not allowed in the country. Uh, they. Other countries are interested in food, what foods or plants you have on board, and animals too, whether you have a, a cat, bird, remora attached to your hull, you know, joke. So they're the, the, the three basic things normally, but um, some countries require more. I believe, we'll find out soon, but I believe we have to go to Department of Agriculture. So they are probably interested in plants, food, seeds that you may have on board um, so it might should be just a declaration a piece of paperwork you sign to say I have nothing of interest here these are not the droids you're looking for so make sure you got your passports now it's raining again and it's nearly lunchtime I, he's probably gonna close for lunch so I think we make some lunch and then hopefully it stops raining later and go ashore. We had to stop at a restaurant and ask, and luckily someone spoke English. And uh, yeah, just across here. So let's go.
continues uh, basically where things are. So now we're looking for immigration. Uh, so at the port captain there, they got us the sanitation guy. He took all, checked all our paperwork. And now we got an immigration, back to port captain, customs, agriculture, and I'm not sure what else, anyway. <laughs> and the yeah, English is very it's okay. not spoken. Um, port captain did not speak any. You know what? He told me, the guy that was in there, the port captain speak English yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so he doesn't know why he doesn't speak English. Yeah. Is it here? Immigration. Oh. Okay. We're probably only half done. We've been going about three hours, maybe. Yeah. So, um, we've got to come back here tomorrow, 10 o'clock, to continue. Customs. We've done sanitation. Mm hmm so we do not need a <laughs> certificate of sanity <laughs> it's a certificate of sanitation yeah so we've done that we've done immigration we've done agriculture mm -hmm. come back tomorrow for customs and then i believe we've got to pay at the local bank and then then we've got to apply for the cruising permit which is an interview we have mm -hmm. to make a time or something yeah. anyway not a simple one and the language barrier makes it pretty hard. Yeah. But we're getting there. <laughs> and it's now 2.30 in the afternoon and it is definitely beer and burrito o'clock. <laughs> we're going to find the restaurant first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't need to talk for this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Whatever. 